Are you too empathic? Is your empathy hurting rather than helping your relationships with men and people in general? I work with a lot of empaths doing this job and in fact, I'm a big one myself, right? I started my career as a veterinarian and you don't get a field that's filled with many more empaths than you do vet. Right, you have to be able to sense an animal's pain, you have to know what that animal feels like, and then want to treat that and help that animal. The problem is that empathy can go too far. And we all know someone, it might be you, it might be one of your friends, who uses loving acts as an excuse to meet everyone else's needs and make everyone else around her feel good while she does nothing for herself and her own needs go unmet. So I'm going to make this really quick and powerful for you. Here's three signs that your empathy might be going too far and ruining your relationships with men and people in general. Number one, you confuse self-sacrifice with love. There's this idea that the more we sacrifice for someone, the more we must love them, the more that is a loving act. And it's ridiculous. I think it comes from the idea that, well, we see someone who gives nothing, like a narcissist, and we say, well, I don't want to be that person, that's not loving, so the opposite of that, the person who gives everything, must be really loving. And it's complete BS. Loving cannot be measured on a scale of how much you sacrifice. You're literally comparing apples and oranges. A loving act comes because you feel an abundance of love in yourself. You feel an abundance in yourself, and then you want to give it to others. Neither the narcissist, nor the extreme self-sacrificer feels an abundance of love within themselves. They're both love scarce, and neither is going to be able to perform loving acts to their full intent until they fill themselves up first. Number two, you're unable to cause short-term hurt to others in order to help them. This was a common one that I again dealt with in the veterinary profession, which is where sometimes when an animal's in trouble, you have to hurt that animal a little bit to ultimately help it. You might have to put a cannula in its arm, you might have to put in a stingy local anesthetic. It's one of the challenges. And you know what? I had to get over my empathy to be able to do my job and help that animal. A real life example from my own life was when I had a relationship end because honestly, the sex wasn't there for me. And it would have been easy to lie to that person or to say something else or that I just wasn't feeling it. But it's my responsibility to that person I'm with to tell them the truth. I may have had to hurt her a little in the short term for her to hear that, and hopefully in the long term that helps her because it then gives her the feedback. In the end though, that's not up to me and I'm not responsible for that. What I have to do is be honest and authentic in my own life and do my best to help others in the long term with that. So if I'm unwilling to hurt someone in the short term to potentially do that, it could mean I end up lying and thus, my empathy has gone too far. By the way, if you're enjoying these points, make sure that you hit that big red subscribe button with the little bell so you see me in the next video as well and check out the links. I've got free downloads to my texting guide, 12 texts to make him yours in the description below. And number three is that your resulting emotion is negative. So I can always tell an empath who's giving too much from an empath who's giving the right amount by looking at how they feel after the giving act. If they're feeling drained, if they're feeling resentful, if they're feeling like they didn't really want to do the thing, but they should because of some kind of guilt or commitment, I know that that empath has gone too far and is not doing that for the right reasons. If an empath is giving for the right reasons, they feel great afterwards. They feel abundant. They feel like they've really made a difference to someone's day and they have a spring in their step. So if you're an empath and you're worried you might be giving too much or performing too many loving acts for people, Check in as to how you feel after the act and you'll be able to get the truth. So those are the three signs that you might be too loving or giving too much in your relationships. You're confusing love with sacrifice. You're unable to hurt someone in the short term to help them in the long term. And basically you feel cruddy, resentful or drained after the loving or empathic act. Well, that is the video. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to hear your thoughts, comments, questions on these concepts below. Hit that subscribe button with the little bell so you get the notifications for the next video. And I will see you in that video and read your comments very soon.